Thanks for clicking on the video. Nothing brings more Christmas cheer than a beer. So let's review the Height Jinro Terra. Hey there, SG Alcohol Guy here, giving you honest reviews on the alcohols that I am tasting. And as mentioned, today we'll be looking at a beer that brings Christmas cheer, the Height Jinro Terra. And if you notice, the brands Height and Jinro, they're both Korean um, alcohol producing companies. So Terra is a beer from Korea. And the interesting thing about this Terra beer, I'm not too sure what the from AGM means, but this beer is made from 100% Australian malt, you know, chosen because of the, the clean air quality. Plus, the carbonation in the beer is supposed to be real carbonic acid produced during fermentation. So no artificial carbonation was added to make this beer fizzy. And this Terra beer is retailing at six Singapore dollars per bottle. It's a 500 ml bottle with 4.6% alcohol content. Ho ho ho. And as usual for all beer reviews, I'll go through how the beer looks, smells, and tastes. It sounds very carbonated and very gassy already. Let's find out. And I do like to pour my beers in a more haphazard manner, especially when it's very carbonated. Now what this does is a couple of things. Number one, when the foam fills up in the glass, it doesn't fill up that much in the stomach, making you a lot less bloated. Number two, depending on how long the foam takes to settle, that gives you an idea whether there's a finish for this beer or not. And as a typical, you know, mass produced beer, you can see that the foam is disappearing really quickly, meaning we don't expect a nice long finish. It's just something that's going to end at the back of the mouth or at the top of your throat. That's about it. Now, color wise, it's not as light colored as I've seen uh, from some other mass produced lagers. Case in point, the Peroni Nastro Azuro that I did uh, in the last review. This is a little bit more darker yellow compared to that beer, but the carbonation is a lot more obvious. The bubbles just do not stop forming. So this might be a burpee review uh, towards the end. Scent wise, a very typical lager scent. Again, um, there's the underlying sweetness which tends to mask some bitterness. So you won't be smelling anything different from this beer compared to well, most other mass-produced lives. But we won't know until we have the taste test. This Terra beer tastes a lot like the Height beer that I reviewed sometime in December last year. The link is in the description below. And in that sense, it is an extremely light beer. It's light to the point it's bordering on tasting watered down. However, the carbonation is unreal. Um, it's very fizzy the moment it enters your mouth. Uh, the, the, the taste doesn't end anywhere near the throat at all. It, it just ends near, I would say, three quarters to the back of the tongue. Then the taste stops. So it's a very light tasting beer in that sense. But the carbonation keeps biting my tongue. I can't taste the bitterness from the beer simply because the, the fizziness is distracting my tongue completely. Maybe that's why the beer tastes light, because this fizziness is just popping, popping, popping on my tongue to the point where I can't taste much else. Uh, it, it's definitely a very enjoyable beer on a hot day. Um, but again, much like the Heights beer, I would say that this is probably beer that's best mixed with soju. Hi, thanks for watching up to this point. I just want to state that all these reviews are based on my personal taste preferences and my opinions, uh, not to be used as an industry standard. I do, however, want to find out what you think about this Terra from AGM, this Korean beer. Drop me some comments, let's compare some notes. And if you're still here, do click on the like button, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, plus the notification bell because I upload two new videos every week. Most importantly, happy drinking!